Hello, I'm Adam and today I will show you a nice project for your Tesla that allows you to change your standard USB drive for the Raspberry Pi. So it emulates the USB stick yeah, and it gives us a few abilities written there. Uh, most important is that we've got automatic error detection. So if something gets corrupted because of uh, memory is being uh, used, uh, it got detected. And additionally, if we haven't got Tesla Premium services, uh, we still can access remotely to the Sentry uh, videos because automatically when we will go near home where we've got Wi-Fi, uh, it will copy to, for example, network storage. Yeah, so that's are the main uh, features. And of course, uh, yeah, we've got uh, UI that I will show later. And I and we've got ability to have more than one hour of uh, recent clips uh, uploaded because, as you know, in Tesla, uh, the capturing is limited to last hour without anything. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, it's worth to mention that uh, we are in the fork of the original project because original developer uh, left the project and uh, fork is alive. Fortunately, it's really alive because as you can see, last change was like two weeks ago and uh, we've got there a wiki page. So let's go to the wiki page and let's talk about uh, what's needed and uh, yeah, and installation process. Uh, okay, hardware options. Uh, there are of course Raspberry Pi uh, supported. I recommend going for Raspberry Pi Zero uh, 2 with Wi-Fi as a bare minimum. Don't go with the standard uh, one version because it has only one core. But the best, uh, most uh, compatible choice is of course Raspberry Pi 4B. Raspberry Pi 5 won't work because it doesn't have the USB OTG. Uh, but of course we can have some alternatives and uh, I would summarize uh, what boards we can use. Uh, in general we need board uh, to have Wi-Fi, to have Bluetooth and uh, OTG. If uh, you want something uh, top performance it would be great to board have USB 3 OTG, for example, Rock P 4C Plus or Rock P 4D. It's pretty new one board, but I saw it's very great. And generally, that's all uh, preconditions that we need to consider uh, regarding hardware. And uh, in this case, I will use Raspberry Pi 4B. And OK, now the installation process. As you can see, uh, if we go to this uh, branch, we can see uh, last release was in 2023, which is pretty old if we are considering the uh, system updates, etc, etc. And there are two ways to install this correctly. And I will show you the way which is uh, universal uh, for your board. So it doesn't matter I've got it on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it will be same for the others, yeah? We will start from this uh, place. Uh, we need to uh, flash standard Armbian image, but uh, the light version. So I will use Raspberry Pi Imager and I will select my Raspberry Pi model and I will choose OS uh, Raspberry Pi OS Other. Then I will get uh, light 64-bit. And of course I will select the SD card. And continue. Uh, then we go to settings. And it's very good to set uh, those settings so our Raspberry Pi will connect automatically to our Wi-Fi and we will set the login and the password. So uh, you should configure Wi-Fi and set the host name because that would be great to have it. And uh, we press yes and we press yes. And now the uh, system is being installed. 
So I'm installing the very blank Raspberry Pi OS Lite version, which is yeah light and doesn't have a GUI, etc., etc. Okay, flashing is completed. So now let's insert the SD card to the Raspberry Pi and wait for uh, booting up. And now after a few minutes, uh, after powering your Raspberry Pi, it should be automatically connected to your Wi-Fi network, so it will be accessible using Putty. And I'm using a hostname that I used when creating SD card. Of course, you have to accept it. And Pi and password that we sent. And we've got logged in. Okay, and uh, now we have to write those commands, but of course, not exactly, but yeah, it uh, depends on the preference. apt update, of course, I want. And now apt upgrade, so everything could be up to date. And now we will verify if we've got installed curl. It should be, yeah, it's there. And uh, well, after update, it's good to write reboot. And after about one minute, we can go, uh, we can press right click on the top uh, bar and press uh, restart session. And we just log in back. And now we write uh, sudo minus e and just copy this uh, command uh, which will download the current uh, git and will set everything up. As we can see uh, Raspberry Pi got rebooted itself. That is uh, written there that device may reboot multiple times. Okay, after a few minutes I right click and press restart session and I've got uh, to log in again. And now as we can see to continue Tesla USB setup run sudo minus E. And as we can see we got a prompt to edit a, a config file. And to do that, uh, we have to copy this command, because, yeah. And uh, what's next? Uh, and now we'll go through this uh, file and set everything that was uh, needed. Uh, so in case you don't got set up Wi-Fi, uh, you have to write those uh, SSID and password there. And next, if you've got, for example, Samba share, uh, you can write it like there, the username, uh, the password and the path uh, to your uh, drive and IP address. And another important thing that we could use, of course, there are a lot of options. Uh, for example, if you want to use another drive, etc., etc. But the very basic setup, uh, I think uh, even the 40 gigabytes is pretty enough for the size. We want to use uh, FAT32 and Uh, this is interesting option if uh, you want uh, your Raspberry Pi to uh, be acting as an uh, access point uh, we can uh, uncomment uh, those lines like the APSSID and the password and the uh, optional IP uh, range that Raspberry Pi will have. Uh, if we want to have uh, login enabled on the web UI and generally yeah some delays SSH key uh, notifiers so if something will happen you will get push uh, notification for signal, for telegram, etc. etc. 
and uh, AWS Telegram blah 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 Slack. <coughs> Yeah, generally you have to play around this file and read it and uh, yeah, not a lot to change if you want to have it in basic functionalities. Uh, this is very important uh, regarding uh, turning off uh, ports uh, because uh, nowadays uh, Tesla after some period of time, if the sentry mode is disabled, it will disable the uh, USB ports and uh, Raspberry Pi won't have power and won't work yeah so uh, there is a way that using bluetooth we can add raspberry pi as a key so it will turn on the sentry mode to let uh, files be uploaded successfully and after uh, uploading is finished it will turn off the sentry and turn off the uh, power in usb but generally uh, nothing's there. Yeah, and we are selecting which uh, sentry case we've got. So the first one is that I sent, uh, that I said uh, if we've got uh, sentry everywhere, so it will be fine. But case two is uh, like we don't want to have sentry unless we are uploading the videos. Yeah, uh, we need to go up. There it is. And if we want to set up the belly, belly E, we have to uh, uncomment uh, this and to write their uh, Tesla VIN number. So it's for the connecting purposes. Yeah. Uh, some integrations with Tesla V or Tessy. Yeah, generally you have to read and uncomment. Interesting for your options, even there are CPU governor. Yeah. Okay, and after that we got everything uh, set up in these files. We press Ctrl X, we press Yes and Enter. And we have to write uh, dash etcrc.local and uh, settings got applied. And uh, yeah, after that device may boot uh, multiple times during uh, the setup and now we can visit the web UI and as we can see we've got uh, the web UI so we've got saved clips, sentry clips and uh, yeah um, well <laughs> yeah so it works we, we can play uh, and yeah and browse it etc etc and uh, if you've got configured uh, settings correctly, you can uh, see that automatically it will upload to the NAS. And I've got folder Tesla and I've got uh, saved clips and there is a date. And of course, there are the clips. And of course, those are in the full resolution Yeah, uh, that we can see. Oh, maybe not this one front yeah as you can see uh, those are in full resolution pretty weird but yeah and, uh, okay so that's it thanks for watching please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button bye